everyone. All right, on this episode of JMC Garage Talk, here I have before us the 2024 Lincoln Nautilus two liter electric hybrid powertrain. And what I want to do in this video is kind of go through the changes Ford did on this all new powertrain and what they did so far. Very cool setup what they have here. So let's go through some of the changes. Number one, this is the first I've ever known of any company, whether before Toyota or anybody, that paired a turbocharged engine with an eCVT. Now, Toyota has done a regular naturally aspirated engine with an eCVT, and Ford has done naturally aspirated with an eCVT. And I know like Hyundai and others do turbocharged engines in their hybrid powertrain, even Toyota does, but they back it up to a, like a six-speed automatic or an eight-speed automatic. This right here is back to, to an ECVT. In fact, it's the first implementation of the HF55. What's in the uh, Escape and what's in the Maverick is the HF45. This is the HF55 built to handle the additional power of the two liter EcoBoost, the MPC EcoBoost. So let's kind of go through this thing and let's show you what we got here. So first off, and the engine or the car's vehicle is running right now, so it may cycle on and off. So right now we have the two liter EcoBoost, the MPC, the modular power cylinder EcoBoost. So this is the brand new engine from Ford, their new two liter, and it's paired up to the new HF55 hybrid electric ECVT transmission that uses two electric motors. One motor it is to start the engine, and the other motor is called the traction motor, which is MG, MG2. Then I actually drive not only the front wheels, but it sends it through a transfer case, a prop shaft, and actually delivers power to the rear diff to drive the rear wheels. So again, so what we have here is this motor is direct and port injection on this particular engine. Um, it is also dual variable valve timing on intake and exhaust. It does not run the Atkinson cycle, but it's pretty much a standard two liter MPC EcoBoost that you find underneath the hood of the Escape, that you find underneath the hood of uh, some of the newer Ford vehicles underneath the hood of the Corsair. Now they've paired it to this ECBT. Absolutely amazing. And from what it looks like under here, it looks very similar to what I find underneath the hood of my Maverick, except for, of course, the turbocharged engine and this transmission that is now the HF55 handling the power coming from the new two liter EcoBoost. So if we go through this engine real quick, we have fresh air that comes in here. We have the air box. And then it goes in the back here, back to the turbo. After the turbo compresses it, it transfers the air up top here. As you can see this to charge air pipe, transfers the air from up top here and goes to an air to air intercooler in front of the radiator. It comes out of the air to air intercooler down here. I don't know if you can see that sun, but right there, it comes out of the air to air intercooler into the throttle body, which is underneath or the intake manifold is underneath this air box right here. And this looks like the same air box that you find in the two liter current generation Escape. You find underneath the Corsair using this, this same particular engine, this two liter MPC EcoBoost. Again, you have coolant for the two liter and then you have coolant for the, um, uh, the uh, registered hybrid system. And then one of the neat things about this engine that I mentioned in my video, but what I wanted to mention about this engine is, so on the 2.5 engine that's in my Maverick, that's in the, uh, that's in different uh, powertrains as well, as far as not only the Maverick, but the, the um, Escape and the Corsair, that 2.5 liter engine doesn't have any accessory drive belt, but this engine does. It does not use an electric water pump, but it uses a mechanical water pump driven off a stretch belt right there as you can see that stretch belt right there this does have an electric um as far as air conditioning compressor this is actually running right now i believe oh i wonder no it isn't okay i was going to say i wonder if ford's using it as a heat pump but they're not they're actually using the engine coolant to run as it as uh to deliver heat into the cabin anyway so this is it this is the new powertrain uh ford if you're listening I would love to see this in more vehicles. Please bring this exact setup into more vehicles. Give us an ST Maverick with this powertrain. Give us a true ST Escape with this powertrain. Please, Ford, bring this into more vehicles because this thing is super duper powerful and so smooth. 
it, it's it's awesome. It's and it sounds amazing. Here, let me start it up for you. Be right there, son. There you go. That's all I can rev it. You want to go back to the exhaust real quick? Yeah. This is JMC6000. Thank you for tuning in. This is JMC Garage Talk video. Please like, comment, subscribe. Hit the bell notification for more videos. I upload every single Wednesday morning and every single Saturday afternoon with JMC Garage Talk. Thank you guys. Drop a comment, question, like, anything you want. And I love to hear the feedback. Thank you.